In this video, we're going to learn about string concatenation in C++. The first thing we'll do is create two strings. We'll have here string first name is equal to Margaret and string last name is equal to Hamilton. So now we can use the plus operator to concatenate these two strings. We'll have here string full name is equal to first name plus last name. And this plus operator here will concatenate these two strings. We could output the resulting string full name to see the effect. Here we'll have C out and then full name followed by a couple end lines. And if we save, compile, and run a program, we'll get Margaret Hamilton as a combined concatenated string. Now there's no space there in between those two names. So what we could do is add a space there using what's called a string literal. We could also use the plus operator again. So we could have here plus and then the string literal space and then plus last name. And this one can concatenate together all three of these strings. We could save, compile, and run the program. And now we get Margaret space Hamilton. This string here could have more characters than one. We could have Margaret Heafield Hamilton. And if we save this, compile, and run the program, we'll get Margaret Heafield Hamilton. Now in some cases, we can also use car values and C style strings with the plus operator. So for example, we could have here string S1 is equal to ABC. Then we could declare a car variable C1 and we could assign it the character D. We can actually use the plus operator in this case. We could have here string test is equal to S1 plus C1 and this will work. If here we output the string test followed by a couple end lines, we're going to find we get the string A, B, C, D. So we can save, compile, and run the program, and we do get the string A, B, C, D here. We could have also used a car literal here. So we could have had here D, just like this. And if we save, compile, and run the program, again, that's going to work. We get the string A, B, C, D. We could also use a C style string stored in a car array. So for example, we could have here car C style string is equal to D E F. And this here is a car array called C style string. And it stores the characters D, E, and F followed by the special null terminator character that ends the string. And we call that a C style string. We could also use that here. We could have here C style string. And if we save, compile, and run the program, this will also work. We'll get A, B, C, D, E, F. Now we cannot concatenate a number. So something like a double or float or in value. So for example, if we add here S1 plus 2.5, and we try to save, compile, and run the program, we will get a compiler error in that case. We also cannot use the plus operator to concatenate together a string literal and a car. So for example, if we had here the string literal ABC and then plus the car value D, if we try to save, compile, and run this, we'll get a warning and we'll get incorrect output. So we don't get ABCD. Notably, string objects also have a member function called append that effectively allows us to concatenate together two strings. So for example, we could have here string string one is equal to one, two, three. And then string, string two is equal to four, five, six. And then we could have here string one dot append string two. And this will alter string one. It's going to append string two onto the end of string one, which is essentially a way of concatenating these two strings. We could output here string one followed by a couple end lines. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, and our output. So we can also use append to essentially concatenate together two strings. 
Now we can also concatenate together C style strings using the functions strcat and strncat. To use these functions, we would have to include the C string library. So here we'll have include C string. And then down here, we'll have two C style strings. We'll have here car C string one length seven is equal to H I J and then car C string two is equal to K L M. So each of these car arrays stores a C style string, which is a sequence of characters followed by a special null terminator character that ends a string. This first car array here, we deliberately made seven characters in length because that way it can store these three characters here, these three characters here, as well as the special null terminator character that ends the string. We can use the strcat function to concatenate together these two C style strings. We could have here strcat and then C string one and C string two as arguments. And this will concatenate together the two strings. The result will be stored into C string one. That's why it was important that the car array was large enough to store the concatenation of both strings. We could output C string one, just to make sure. We'll have C out, C string one, followed by a couple end lines here. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get H I J K L M. So the two C style strings were concatenated. Now there is another very similar function called STRN CAT. This function accepts a third argument, which is the max number of characters to be concatenated from the second source string to the first destination string. So for example, we could have here STRN CAT and then C string one, C string two, and then two. And this third argument here will make it such that a maximum of two characters are concatenated from C string two onto the end of C string one. If we save compile and run the program, we then get H I J, but only K L. And the third character M from C string two is no longer part of the concatenation. So this is how we can concatenate strings in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.